Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering what is database API. Guys, I have uploaded complete Python programming subject tutorials. I will provide link in the description, you can watch from there. If you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. Database is nothing but organized collection of data. If you want to store any data in proper format, then you can use database. In database, we can store data in proper format. And next, API stands for Application Programming Interface. The name itself says interface mean middle layer. API is a language and message format used by an application program to communicate with database management system. If you want to communicate Python with database, then we need one application programming interface that is API. In Python, we use SQLite3 module. This SQLite3 module is nothing but it is API. By using SQLite3 module, we can establish communication between Python and database. Database API is used to establish communication between Python program and database. Normally, we can create database by using structured query language. Same like Python programming, there is one language called structured query language. That is shortly we call it as SQL. By using SQL, we can create database and we can perform various operations on database. Whenever you import SQL at 3 module in Python, you can write structured query language in Python itself. This is diagram of database API. In order to establish communication between Python application and database, we need one database API. Database API is nothing but in Python, we need to import SQL at 3 module. This SQL at 3 module act as interface between Python and database. Whenever you import SQL at 3 module, you can write structured query language commands inside Python. That is nothing but we are creating database and we are performing various operations on database in Python program itself. These are features of SQL at 3. First one is serverless. Normally, if you want to connect to database, then we need server. But whereas in SQL at 3, there is no need of server. For example, if you consider another APS like MySQL and Postgres SQL, we need one server in order to connect to database. But whereas in SQL at 3, there is no need of server. And next one is self-contained. Self-contained means the SQL at 3 does not depend on operating system and external libraries. And next one is zero configuration. For example, before starting any application programming interface, at first we need to configure it. But whereas in SQL at 3, there is no need of any configuration. Directly we can run SQL at 3. And the SQL at 3 is serverless. So there is no need of even installing the SQL at 3. Directly by using import keyword, you can import this module and you can use. And fourth feature is transactional. SQLite is ACID. ACID is nothing but the SQLite 3 is fully automatic and fully consistent. Consistent means correct and fully isolated. Isolated means if any error occurs, then we can easily handle those errors in SQLite 3. And last one is durability. Durability means even if any damage occurs, then it can easily recover. Even when an unexpected situations like application crash, power failure or operating system failure, it can easily recover. Transactional means the SQLite 3 supports ACID properties. And last feature is single database. SQLite 3 is single database. That means if you connect to single database, you can access multiple database files. So this is best future. By using this future, we can join tables in different databases and we can copy data and so on. 